Guys, what is going on? It is Wednesday morning, cruising into work, and uh, I had to take the square. Had to do it. I, <laughs> I don't know. I hate driving the Jeep, to be honest with you. It, uh, I don't know. Something about driving that thing, it just, it's all right, it's comfortable, but stupid death wobble is like always, per, it's always kind of there, you know, and I don't, I just, I don't know, I hate driving it, but anyway, so rolling in the K20 today, sitting in traffic, the usual morning action, but K20 don't care, hot, cold, traffic, open freeway, she don't care. So, uh, yeah, I figured I'd update you on some stuff. So, trans temps have been staying pretty good. They usually run, like, I don't know, between 150, 165. And that's, you know, it's been like 110. You know, it's, it's been in the hundreds. So, mid, uh, like, mid, uh, like, I guess mid would be like 105 to 110. So, it did, does pretty good. I was in the Chick-fil-A drive through the other day. And it was, I was there like a long time, like 15 minutes, and uh, they got walls up, so there's no real air moving. Trans got up, I think it got up to like 180, maybe like 195, and then as soon as I went along and dropped down, so it's doing good. But uh, yeah, I figured we'd drive the, drive the 20 today. I just love driving it. I don't know what it is, just something about it. It's old, it's cool, it's just fun to drive so taking you along with me I'm just moseying on into work hopefully I get there on time shit so. so I had a bunch of leaks going on transfer case was leaking leaking out the front output shaft the rear output shaft <coughs> excuse me and uh, my rear end was leaking so the problem with the rear end is that the cover that was on it uh, I had these axles in the K10 crawled a lot of rocks and so it kind of bent the lip up wasn't making a good seal so I went and stole a uh, cover off of a 14 volt I had on the side of the house and it already had a gasket on it so I didn't really sweat too much on that just popped off the old one popped the new one on so that went well All right, so I cleaned this one up a little bit. It has a gasket on it, so I'm gonna roll with it. Usually, as long as there's a gasket and it's not torn, it should be fine. I'm just gonna clean up the surface a little bit and we'll rock and roll. See if this one and five sixteenths is what I need.
looked in the transfer case. Um, I pulled the uh, little bearing, I guess the, uh, or the seal housing, bearing housing, whatever you call it, that houses the seal that the uh, yoke goes into. So I pulled that all apart. I used that GM engine sealer, seal it around there, popped it back on, and uh, put a new seal up in it. And I don't know if it's the national seals that like really suck now, but it's it's still leaking a little bit. I think one of the problem, like on the front, I think the front's okay, but on the back, I think the problem with it is that the yoke is actually, there's like a little divot in the yoke. And I think like, I don't know, just from a bunch of miles on it, I think it kind of wore the yoke down a little bit. I don't know if that's possible, but it seems that way. So I cleaned it up a little bit, put it in. It's still leaking just a little bit, but not crazy. So, you know, I don't really, really even see any drips on the ground. It just kind of, you know, hangs out up under there. So I just clean it off every now and then and uh, just roll with it until I find another yoke. Somebody had asked me about, you know, how to make the doors open and close easier. So I'll show you. So this is a 40 year old truck and uh, get them to shut good. So what I ended up doing, it's called PEX, half inch PEX. It's just water line. I use in motorhomes. I just cut it and wrapped it around here and hasn't been giving me any issues. Well, I've seen guys, they'll like take the actual like little pin out and then just like slide it through. But what I did is I just kind of cut it a little big and I like kind of smushed it in here with some pliers and uh, show you a little bit. I just kind of kind of took pliers and just got it up in there, you know, as tight as I could. And uh, it hasn't really been giving me any trouble, but I figured I'll put it up in there. And then, uh, and so one of the main issues is that that pin has to slide on like this little deal up there. So you have to kind of keep that lube. But anyways, once you put that on, it lifts the door up so that it's not hitting as hard. And then it just bango flango, it shuts.